yun, ang nakaka-inspire sa akin dito sa negosyong to, dito sa tindahan, ganun. Siyempre, yung kumbaga, ito na yung pinakang family business namin. Kaya kumbaga, tinutuloy ko lang isa pa. Yung nakaka-inspire sa akin, siyempre, may mga anak ako na kailangan buhayin. Uh, mamana nila yung, uh, yung gantong negosyo. Ang isa pa nakaka-inspire sa akin, nakakatulong ako sa mga tauhan ko. Dahil kumbaga, nabibigyan ko sila ng trabaho, nabibigyan ko sila ng hanap buhay nila. Ah, kasi ito, business na namin ito nung, ano, nung balit pa ako. Ah, tapos, si mother ko, ah, nagka-pwesto na dito sa palengke. May tinda siyang longganisa, baseball, ah, Prabel Foods, ah, CDO. Kaya, mahal na namin itong business na to. Bali kami ang may-ari nito. Ah, tapos, ayun, hanggang sa, nandito pa rin kami sa palengke. What inspires me as a teacher is whenever I see kids, their sparkling eyes, their ending questions, and even their thirst for learning. I can say that there is no better reward for a teacher than to see kids growing at their own pace and see them discover themselves. I can also say that I will never ever get tired of teaching as long as there are children. Hindi kong magiging ganitong bitisya na kung trabaho ko. At the same time, kumikita ng mga para sa mga aking pamilya. Nakakatulong sa pamilya ko sa mga tao na kumanda. What inspires me is the job itself. So I am a finance graduate, business administration, and what I'm doing now is more of managing people under finance department. And um, I would say that the role itself really fits my portfolio and my caliber as a finance graduate. So what inspires me, maybe it's the entire job itself, like the content of the job. I really love dealing with numbers, with ledgers, um, doing a lot of financial stuff. So. I think that's basically it. The entire job itself that inspires me at all. Uh, what in inspires me uh, to be a doctor is number one, my own life testimony. Because I was born premature and uh, my parents decided to uh, let me stay in the hospital for about six months because I got sick, very sick, had intestinal obstruction which uh, the doctor um, told my parents that I wouldn't make it. Um, they gave me time, uh, a few days to live because they cannot uh, do operation. But uh, it's God's miracle for me to live. And from that time on, uh, my mother would always tell me to uh, live my life to the fullest, to achieve my goal in life because God has a purpose in my life that's why he allowed me to live. So uh, from that time on, I had an interest in dealing with people, sick people, and helping them to live also. And that uh, gave me a lot of um, inspiration until I was able to finish my um, medical course. Then eventually, I, I felt a little lacking in my uh, in my experience as a doctor so I went into uh, a specialization I go into um, their uh, pediatric uh, residency training and then uh, until I finished it and had my clinic here in Rizal I initially tend to practice in Manila but since my parents are here they are living here and I am uh, a resident of Binangonan. I opted to choose uh, to serve people here in Binangonan and in Rizal. Uh, my patients, the, the daily patients I saw in my clinic gives me a lot of encouragement and uh, motivation to go on, to continue. And makes me fulfilled in my practice and in my purpose in life.